Hey, let's take a look at page two of your assignment. And question number four, we've got ABCD is a parallelogram with the side lengths shown. We know the perimeter is 22. So I'm gonna just put that in there to remind me the perimeter is 22. And we wanna find A to B. Well, remember A to B is the same as C to D. And then we know A to D is the same as B to C. And what makes this problem interesting, which is a euphemism, is we've got three different variables here, don't we? So at first, this seems like kind of a hard problem or kind of an impossible problem. But if we take a look at the opposite sides being equal, let's start there. So I'm gonna start here with 3x minus two equals x minus w plus one. And I think what I'll do is I'll solve for w. And the reason I'm gonna solve for w is I've got a w over here for uh, c. So I can use some substitution. So let's get w by itself. So if I wanna get w by itself, now we're just gonna do some algebra. Let's subtract x from both sides. And we'll subtract one from both sides. So then we'll get two x minus three equals negative w. Well, I want w, so I'll, I'll say that'll be w equals negative 2x plus 3. And I think I like to write my positives first, so I'm going to say 3 minus 2x. So anytime I see 3 minus 2x, I can do w. Now, Remember, the opposite sides are equal, so I'm going to kind of ignore that y in a, b. I'm just going to use my opposite sides. So I'm going to say, if I add up two adjacent sides, I know they're going to add up to 11. Or if I double each side, but I'm just going to add up the two my, adjacent, my two adjacent sides. So we're going to say on this problem that 3 minus 4w plus 3x minus 2. Well, that's going to equal to 11 then, isn't it? And then I can combine some of my like terms. 3 minus 2 is 1, so I get negative 4w plus 3x plus 1 equals 11. In fact, I think I'll just minus my 1 from both sides. So I'll get negative 4w plus 3x equals 10. Well, that doesn't get me much closer, but remember I started with w equals 3 minus 2x. So instead of putting w in, I can say 3 minus 2x. So we're going to say negative 4 times 3 minus 2x plus 3x equals 10, or negative 12 plus 8x plus 3x equals 10. Well, I'll add 12 to both sides, and then I'll combine my 8x in my 3x, and, uh, I'm sorry, I need to scroll down here because I need to show some work. Okay, so in other words, 11x equals 22. Or, more specifically, 11 divided by 11, x equals 2. Well, if x equals 2, then I can go over here and find the value of w. So w is going to be 3 minus 2 times 2, 3 minus 4, w equals negative 1. 
Now I can use that fact to find the length of DC or CD. Since CD is 3 minus 4W, 3 minus 4 times negative 1 would be 3 plus 4, which is 7. And since I have a parallelogram, now I know that C to D is 7. Well, that's the same thing as A to B, isn't it? And that's what you're supposed to find. So we know on this problem, A to B is 7. That was kind of a fun problem, wasn't it? We had a lot of substitution going on from left and right. And we could have, by the way, when you do this problem, you could have, we solve for W. I could have solved for X and got the, and done it the same way. And that might have been easier and just would have been different. And on question number five, we want to explain why parallelogram is always a quadrilateral. But quadrilaterals are sometimes parallelogram. And because that's the key definition of a parallelogram. A parallelogram is four sides plus the opposite sides are congruent or parallel. I think we're we'll go parallel because we know the opposite sides are parallel. Where is a quadrilateral? Let me change colors here. Just has four sides. There's no condition about which if any sides are parallel. So a parallelogram, if we think about it, is a quadrilateral plus opposite sides parallel. So that's why we can say every parallelogram is a quadrilateral, but not every quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We can even represent that as kind of with a Venn diagram. Okay, so here is my set of quadrilaterals. And then inside here, we have a parallelogram. So every quadrilateral is a parallelogram, but only some parallelograms are quadrilaterals.